telling you guys, this is the best fried chicken sandwich that you will ever, ever make. I challenge anyone. Guys, remember to subscribe, like, and share. All right, let's get to this. All right, so guys, the first thing we're actually gonna start with is the sauce for the sandwich. This is the heart and soul of this sandwich. If you do not have these ingredients, the sandwich will not be the same. It's very easy, but it is extremely important. Okay, so first thing we're gonna go in with is about a cup of mayo. We're gonna add in about a cup of sour cream. About a tablespoon of mustard. You have a pinch of salt, pinch of black pepper, two tablespoons of sugar, and two tablespoons of lemon juice. Okay. Now you're just gonna whisk this together and help it to all come together. Of course, if you want, you could add more sugar um, to make it sweeter or less sugar to make it less sweet. If you wanna make this a little spicy, you could add some cayenne pepper, but I suggest you just start with this, okay? I promise, this is extremely good. Next, we're just gonna put this aside and let this sit while we prepare our batter for the chicken. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is make our seasoned flour. We're just gonna make a really, really simple seasoned flour. We're gonna go in with about three cups of flour. One, two, three. We're gonna add some salt. And that is it. Now, just bring that together. Okay, set that aside. Now, for the actual bottom. We're gonna make, start out with two eggs. One, no shell please. Two, So two eggs, two cups of water, and then I'm gonna take one cup of the seasoned flour I just made, and add that in there. And we whisk that together. Guys, remember, the thicker this butter is, the more crunchy the chicken will be. The thinner this butter is, the less crunchy it will be. So, start with one cup, like I said, and then, depending on how thick it is or thin it is, you will know what to add. So, after that one cup here, I'm gonna add another cup, but a plain flour, because I don't want this too salty, okay? So, plain flour into this. And just keep whisking. So this is about the consistency I want. Now that I have the consistency right, you could choose at this point to add whatever flavors you want. So garlic powder, onion powder, you know, whatever you choose. For me, I am just gonna do black pepper and cayenne to make this a, just a little spicy. All right, so I'm just gonna put some black pepper and there's no specific measurements to these, okay? This is all up to you. And I'm gonna put some cayenne. Once again, remember, do not put anything dark or red into your seasoned flour. It's any butter is where you wanna put your seasonings because anything red or 
any sugar or anything like that in your seasoned flour is going to burn in that oil it's going to make your fried chicken really really dark okay let's go ahead and just do a quick season on our chicken and then we can dredge and fry all right so guys as you can see i just have some boneless chicken breast here um, if you debone your own chicken you'll get the actual um, chicken breast and then you will get what you really should be using for chicken tenders um, so all we're gonna do is lightly salt this okay and then just a little bit of black pepper as well nothing else nothing else all you want to taste really from this is the chicken um, I think I said this before too many people want to add a bunch of extra seasonings because they think it's gonna you know be so much better and then they wonder why it doesn't taste like what they buy at Popeyes or churches or whatever okay simple seasonings simple seasonings okay once you have this with just some salt and black pepper what you're actually gonna do is put just a little bit of the seasoned flour directly onto this chicken okay and this is basically the first step of the dredging and this is what's gonna help the batter stick to this chicken so you're not trying to put too too much you do want to get both sides though okay and the purpose of this is so you don't waste the um the seasoned flour you just made you know you don't need to make a separate whole bowl of seasoned flour just for this first step like you see in other videos this is just a really quick way to take this step without wasting too much of this okay so let's just finish this up right so very basic setup we have the chicken that we just seasoned and put flour on we have our batter seasoned flour we have our pot of oil and a cooling rack that's it all right so we have our seasoned chicken we're gonna take it straight into the batter shake off any excess into our seasoned flour and if you remember from the fried chicken video you're gonna squeeze squeeze and shake off any extra from here we're gonna go straight into the flour I mean the oil sorry I'll do one more real quick we're gonna start with the seasoned chicken it's already been pre-floured into the batter shake off any excess into the seasoned flour squeeze get it all packed in shake off any excess into your oil now we just need to regulate the heat okay make sure it's not too hot make sure the oil doesn't drop too low in temperature and i'll come back to you guys once we're taking out this first batch so it's been about five to six minutes we're gonna take out our first two chicken breasts and just sit them on the cooling rack and we want this to sit for you know just a minute or two just so the juices to redistribute next time we come back we'll be assembling guys we have our beautiful fried chicken here we have a toasted bun i have some tomatoes chopped up lettuce and our sauce let's assemble okay so first we're gonna start off with sauce and both the base and the top this is the only sauce you're gonna use all the way through you're gonna give it some lettuce a drizzle of more sauce again and 
a nice slice of tomato. A little more sauce. And now just top it with your fried chicken. Cover that up. And guys, that is it. And I'm telling you, this is the best fried chicken sandwich you will ever make.